Betty. How are you? Hi. <laughs> you look beautiful. Well, we know that you, you know, John, I just recently checked out your um, credentials. I didn't know that you were a producer. Alternative hard rock. Um, the, the two bands that I listened to first were Jay's Addiction and Soundbar. <laughs> I didn't know, I had no idea. And so, and what's, what's interesting is, you know, we've met and I've got to spend time with you. And then I worked with Chris Cornell too. Ah. Oh. I, I produced a track for him. And Christina, you've got your own record. And um, John, yeah. did you help produce that? Oh yeah, this is the producer yeah, right producer. here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I released it right during COVID. Right during. Cancel shows. I had a show at the Grand Ole Opry. I was going to go back and sing at the Grand Ole Opry wow. again. Wow. Second time. Uh -huh. and, then, and then, you know, they're kind of going to move it around. So I had to move a lot of my shows to Zoom and stuff like that, which is, you how know, it's got a nice good? response. When Sorry? you do a show through Zoom, how is that? How is that experience? Well, I'm either playing on my own or like John Carter is. And it's, it's cool because people leave little comments and things. And it's, it's kind of like a live stream of comments. And then you get to talk to them. So I feel like. Yeah, I'm, yeah in my living room or in the studio just talking to people and it feels like more personal kind of but i Hi. i kind of miss the energy of live yeah. show we're, we're keeping up a bunch of music here um, this recording. is this we're is recording. the cash kevin studio and this is my father actually recorded here in the last part of his life he did um um he did about half of the rick rubin recordings here but that he uh, american recording stuff between um uh, american three and then the last record uh but man you know anna's music too she and i write together we wrote a song on a project called uh, um southern roots you should check it out it's a it's a murder ballad. that's on the record yeah, southern yeah. Roots. so he wrote that with me yeah. together so that's wow. a collaboration between husband and wife yeah. on the record i love the energy when the the man and the woman sing together creates this so you know this entity like my dad and my mother when they would get on stage together there was this like being if you will that was created that was you know um but greater than the sum of the parts and and dad's nature became a little softer and a little more defined a little more humorous while my mother's nature became a little more serious a little more focused and and what was created was so much cooler and it, uh, definitely so you know the crossover um you know um whatever it may be, uh, it's, it, it's all good. So. Yeah, when we do stuff together, we have fun, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, um, I do. I, I enjoy the most when I'm just singing with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Probably the same with you both, yeah. yeah. And definitely find a point, you know, point of connection in music. And, that's, and that, that's it. It's like, where do we all walk together? Where do we all stand together? And, and the, the same people in all walks of life, you know, ma no matter where you come from, uh, east, west, north, south, uh, we, we all are touched and impacted by music. Yeah. I mean, even a beast, it can soothe a savage beast. So how are you going where you are at? How is the climate? Are you guys sheltered in place? What's going on there? We are so cautious. We wear masks everywhere we go. And I literally just if go to the go grocery out, store but, yeah, if, but, if yeah, I even go out. Go but out. I, you know, Part of me is like sad to miss out on certain aspects of life, but at the same time, I've gotten used to it. I would say like the beginning was really chaotic. Yeah. Like the first two and a half weeks, we were just like frantic, like what's happening to Month the world. Uh, and, that, and that was that was our yeah. hardest time too, you know. Uh, you know as, pe as, as a couple, as couple, people, but and, now, you know, and now the, we're fine. And it's, I, think, I think we went through our worst at the <laughs> yeah. beginning. And then, so, you know, Absolutely. it seems like things are more invoked now. You know, it's a crisis, COVID, right? So yes. we, we have to do band together and we get the world uh, shrinks up but you you start to come up with good ideas on how to nest can i ask you something I, um so i want to go back uh, always bring it back to music and i know that you know the carter family has uh, some great tracks well uh, the carter family uh, my great uncle ap carter um, and uh, his brother was my grandfather. So A.P. Carter was out walking the mountains. He was selling fruit trees one day and he heard this angelic voice and, and he went and followed that voice and he tried to sell a fruit tree to the girl, but he wound up marrying her. And that was Sarah Daughtery. Now her first cousin was, was Maybell Addington. Ah, so got Maybell got introduced to A.P.'s brother and they married. And so uh, the Carter family grew up, Maybell, AP, 
and Sarah all grew up listening to traditional gospel music and s singing in church. Um, they learned shape note singing and they learned uh, the hymns. Now, A.P. Carter was, he traveled all the time um, and he would, um, he was a salesman, but he would go from railroad yards to different uh, places at different communities. Um, and he had a friend, uh, a guy named Leslie Riddle, who was an amazing blues guitarist, was, uh, was a black man, and they got to be very, very good friends. So they would, AP got to where he would go and he would write down the words of these songs that he was hearing. Well, he couldn't play guitar hardly, but Leslie sure could. And so Leslie would memorize the chord structures. The Carter family um, began making music. Now, the area was Sarah, it? sorry. This was like uh, Tennessee. Um, this this was in southwestern Virginia, and this was in like 1926. It would have been 27. They saw an article in a pa paper saying uh, that there was an audition uh, in Bristol, Tennessee, with with Ralph Peer. Now Ralph Peer was a publisher, and so AP came in with Sarah and Maybell, and actually Sarah uh, 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 was the lead vocalist on those first recordings. Maybell was the main guitar player. And she had to try to facilitate a style of guitar playing that would work uh, playing the rhythm and the lead at the same time. Wow. So she developed what is called the Carter Scratch. So she took this style that was crossed with the blues that she learned from Leslie Riddle and, and the traditional songs that she heard in the mountains. And she created this, this style of guitar playing that was just brilliant and genius. So they recorded some songs uh, with Ralph Peer, went on to record 300 songs throughout the, the Depression in the 1930s. And at the end of the 1930s, they went and they did a radio show um, out of Mexico that was broadcast all over the Northern Hemisphere, 500,000 watt station, which wow. 100,000 watt is a legal limit now as it was in the US back then. <laughs> but, but in Mexico, they broadcast 500,000 watts. My mother was there, she was 10 years old in 19, um, um, 39, and she said that, um, that the signal was so powerful you could actually hear it on your dental fillings. <laughs> you remember know? that song? I'm on a Mexican radio. radio. <laughs> whoa, whoa, that's from your my generation. Yeah. Wall of voodoo. But, wall of voodoo. Yeah. Yeah, wall of voodoo. <laughs> but, uh, but the Carter family music spread to the world from that. I, I know that we're going to be um, sharing music on this um, on this occasion as well, but. Yeah. I want to, I, I really look forward to the time when we can get together and play music again live, you know, next yeah, year. Sure. I, I would love that. Yeah, yeah for love sure. Love you, guys, love to, you guys are yeah. adorable, by the way. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Yeah. 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 I, I genuinely mean that. We can do a Carter family song together. <laughs> There's room in there for all kinds of parts and vocals and different verses. All right, man. You've got, you've got me. I'm, I'm, I'm in. <laughs> I'm, I'm really excited for us to exchange music and play music. And can you tell us what song you're going to share with us? Well, well we'd love to do Keep on the Sunny Side, which is a Carter family song. Yeah, the Carter family, this is actually their their theme song that yeah. when you wake up in the morning, remember that today is a new, a, a bright new day. Stay positive. Musical heritage and the purpose of life. Keep on the sunny side. There's a dark and a troubled side of there's a bright and a sunny side too Though we meet with the darkness and strife The sunny side we also may view Keep on the sunny side, always on the sunny side Keep on the sunny side of life It will help us every day We'll keep on the sunny side of life. Let us greet with the song of hope each day. Though the moment be cloudy or fair, let us trust in our Savior always. We'll keep with everybody in his care. Keep on the sunny side. It will help us every day, it will brighten all the way, if we'll 
keep on the sunny side of life. Keep on the sunny side, always on the sunny side. Keep on the sunny side of life. It will help us every day. It will brighten all the way if we'll keep on the sunny side of life. If we will keep on the sunny side of life. We got.